Well, hello, everybody. Good morning. Thank you very much for attending uh, this session uh, of Asilio at the Energy and Mines Virtual Summit Australia 21. My name is Felipe Gallardo, and I am Business Development Manager for Asilio. I will be talking today about our uh, thermal energy storage solution for long duration, the test pot. So uh, we at Asilio um, are manufacturers of technology, and uh, in particular of storage technology. And uh, our test pod, which means thermal energy storage for power on demand, um, is a technology that allows to provide long duration storage. It's the perfect complement to uh, solar PV or other renewable sources uh, in, and, and to provide 24 7 reliable energy for uh, clients that might be off grid in remote locations and with access to very competitive and good uh, renewable energy, which we believe is often the case in the mining sector. So our solution, it's modular. Each test pot um, is 13 kilowatts capacity and can store energy for up to 13 hours. So 13 is our lucky number. Of course, being modular, you can deploy 100 kilowatts, one megawatt or different uh, capacities. And you will always get by design 13 hours of storage for that capacity that you are installing. So you can complement uh, your, your renewable energy system and you can get 24 seven for, for your operations with, with a cluster of facilities testers. So our operational philosophy is that you can operate, for example, during the day, uh, directly supplying your demand with solar PV while simultaneously charging uh, Asilis test pods cluster system, and then during the night, the test pods uh, will supply your demand. So how it works is that we take the electricity in our test pods and we transform that into high temperature heat. We do that by melting an aluminum alloy. Here you can see in the tank our solution. We are explaining it now in parts, but it's actually a full integral black box, and it's a plug and play solution. So the first component is the storage where we uh, transform this electricity into heat. And then when we need to generate electricity for our users, what we do is that we transform the heat back into electricity by means of our Sterling engine, which is a beautiful technology that transforms <clears throat> temperature differences into, into shaft power and into electricity. So this is our core competence at the Celio. We have been doing this for more than 12 years in different technological setups and today in particular with our storage solution. So uh, at the end, you end up with a system that provides 13 hours of, of, of storage. Uh, it's very cost competitive. Uh, it, it doesn't use any scarce material or conflicting materials. There are no emissions um, and it, it has a very high thermal efficiency. Um, so uh, you can you can have a reliable uh, base load supply of renewable energy, and if you have <clears throat> a heat demand, you can even use it as a CHP unit, which means combined heat and power. So you can provide both your demands of heat and power um, for for your case, and that is very good from an economic point of view. But most of our cases normally use only the electricity. So our heat is actually low temperature heat, and it's a byproduct for us. So this system has no degradation. This means that you can cycle it as many times as you want. You can melt and freeze the aluminum and you will not lose the storage capacity, which is very good from an economical point of view in the sense that you don't have to replace the system after year five or six, which is often the case for conventional batteries. So this product is very interesting for uh, the mining sector, in particular the mining sector, which has access to very good uh, renewable energy conditions. Um, you can have 24-7, of course, coupled to solar PV, which is the case uh, in, in, in countries such as Australia or, or Chile. And uh, you can deploy the test pod in remote locations and, and in different capacities. So we would like to show a case of a study. This is a case in Chile where we use uh, test pods in order to supply pumping clusters. And this is in a tailing dam, or it can be also in evaporation pools. So you with solar PV supply the pumping clusters, which are running 24-7. During the day, you supply them with solar PV and charge the test pods. And during the night, you use the test pods to supply the, cluster, the pumping cluster. So in terms of results, uh, the optimal, we actually did an optimization, and the optimal size of our system uh, is, is, is uh, considers a renewable load factor, that is to say, 
the fraction of renewable energy that supplies the demand is up to 84 percent. So we still use the diesel gensets that we're replacing, but only for 15 percent of the time, which is good because as you know, gensets, uh, the, the cost of a diesel genset is mainly the cost of the of the fuel, which we are in this case avoiding extensively. So from an economic point of view, you can see that the LCOE is very competitive, that the payback can be as short as five years, depending on, on of factors of the demand of the of, or, or the solar energy. And we do a very thorough analysis when, when we are presented a case and we help you also with project development, project finance, we discuss CAPEX and OPEX. But um, you can also have a, a first look to how would this project add value to your operations by using our value calculator, which is a web tool that we have implemented in Asilio's website. So you can go to the value calculator, uh, asilio.com slash value calculator. So today we want to use an example uh, using the value calculator that might be relevant for you in Australia. So you can go to asilio.com value calculator, click here to start. I'm going to assume in this example that we have a base load demand in the mining sector in Australia. I'm just going to assume that we have 500 kilowatt uh, demand. And let's say that we are located, of course, in Australia. I'm going to choose a potential mining sector here randomly. And we can say that I'm going to assume we are not connected to the grid. I'm going to assume that we're paying $1 per liter of diesel. Probably you're paying a little bit more if you're connected in that area. And then with uh, my contact details, if I agree to this, and I'm doing this for Australia, and I belong to the mining sector, I can get a report on how this system would look like for my operation. Perfect. So we have here the uh, simulation results. We can download the results. We can open this and we can see that we have been assigning a business developer from Azilio, in this case Bjorn Odenbro. We have this case in Australia 24-7. Solar radiation is excellent in Australia, as we all know, the GHI for the demand that we are simulating. The diesel price, I put $1 per liter, and it still is very expensive from an energy point of view. It's $300 per hour. Um, but we see that we can get an LCOE as good as uh, $140 per hour, um, uh, strong CO2 reductions and so on. And this is, of course, just a preliminary study, just the first data point for you to understand how it would look like. Also, you can see uh, a little bit of how Azilio might uh, add value in the mining sector for you that are working in that sector. And of course, a little bit of information about our test project. So this would be the perfect way to open the conversation if you are interested. And if actually you see that makes sense, we should do a actual feasibility study and we would be very glad to discuss with you about uh, about Azilio and about what we can do for you um, with our technology. So please feel free to contact us. We will be very happy to schedule a meeting with you during this summit or just send us an email and uh, we can assess the case for you. We also have uh, project development capabilities or project finance capabilities. So we provide both technology and project development alternatives. Thank you very much. Uh, for following this presentation and we look forward to hear from you.